Right, let's talk about the good film coming out this weekend, i.e. not the Aladdin remake. Anyway, Brightburn, produced by James Gunn and written by two other people with the last name Gunn that are related to him, focuses on a married couple, Tori and Kyle Breyer, Breyer who, while they're trying to conceive a child, come across an alien pod that crashes on their farm, and they take the boy in, call him Brandon, and as he starts to hit that puberty age, he has Superman-like powers and also some voices and such in his head, trying to get him to do some bad stuff, like kill people. So yeah, this is a horror movie. One, obviously heavily inspired by the Superman origin story and by Superman in general, but it's still through and through a horror film. And some of the advertisement for this film has called this the first superhero of horror. Yeah, hero. Uh, depends on which side you're rooting for. But actually, I'm going to call this one the first super villain. I mean, you could argue that Jason Voorhees or Freddy Krueger, they're sort of in that league, kind of. But this is undeniably a straight-up comic book type supervillain that, while inspired by DC, of course, belongs solely to the horror genre. And I actually want to see more of what this world has to offer. But the way it ended, I actually want to know more about what could happen in this world. So as you can probably tell, I really enjoyed this film. It could probably benefit from be it being a little longer. This film comes in about 90 minutes, 91 minutes, so like an hour and a half. It probably could have been about half an hour longer, just to give more details into some character development. But this is a really good and enjoyable film. I really like this film. But I want to talk about the fact that the first trailer for this film obviously was a homage to the Man of Steel film directed by Zack Snyder. And while that film has become divisive, let's say, with some people loving it, some people hating it, it really does go to show that while the film, that film as a whole has become divisive, the portrayal of Henry, Henry Cavill's portrayal of Superman has in a way become pretty iconic. I've already talked about the Man of Steel film and the Richard Dahmer film be before on this channel. So if you want some more details, you can go check those videos out. I'm sure they're on my channel somewhere. But the fact that Brightburn goes specifically is inspired specifically the Man of Steel portrayal, the Man of Steel version of the Superman mythology, it does go to show that Henry Cavill has become pretty iconic. Which is impressive considering that it is one of the most divisive DC films, especially in recent years. So, this is some nice love from a fellow superhero filmmaker as well, James Gunn, who may not have directed this film, but was a producer, and he probably did help out with the script a little bit, even though it was like other family members of his that actually worked on the script. But, again, the fact that Brightburn is heavily inspired by the Man of Steel version specifically, it's a nice way of showing that Henry Cavill's portrayal has some love, has some respect and admiration. So, good job, guys. As for Brightburn itself, like I said, I love it. And Bren Brandon Breyer, is Breyer actually sort of like a subtle nod to Michael Myers? Myers, Breyer. I mean, you know, it doesn't sound similar, but once you see out the spelling, it does seem like a subtle, subtle nod. Anyway, while this is definitely probably not a superhero, this is horror genre's very first straight-up supervillain. And I really actually want to see more of this world, where a potential sequel could go. So, I hope when people see this film, 
they'll end up loving it. I know on Rotten Tomatoes, the critic score isn't that impressive right now. But you know, sometimes you see a film and you can just tell right away it's going to become like a cult classic. I think this is going to be one of those films. Yeah, I really think Brightburn's going to become like a pretty cult classic film and will... And the character, Brandon, will become as iconic as some other horror villains. And, like I said, I really want a sequel. Make that happen. That's all I have to say right now. Oh, wait, Quachi? Hey, Quachi, how's it going? We're not having the Superman debate again. We are not having the Superman debate again. Sorry, you don't want to know our Superman debate. It's pretty intense. Anyway, so like, comment, subscribe, share, and go support Brightburn. It's more enjoyable and original than the Aladdin remake. I mean, come on.